Tunisia's new Prime Minister-designate, Elias Fakfaka, begins talks to uh, form a cabinet this week, just days after his appointment. He has already set the priorities for his cabinet ahead of the confidence vote in Parliament. Adnan Chouachi has the details. Elias Fakfaka declared that the economic situation is critical. He added that 2020 will be the most challenging year in covering growing state expenses. There are many economic priorities in 2020. That will be the year of difficulties, starting from financing the state expenses. The purchasing power is very low and the weak production at the phosphate mining region must be tackled as soon as possible. The Prime Minister designate noted that Tunisia is working to gradually improve its economic indicators by means of tough yet necessary reforms. I'll put in place a structural reform program to boost development. My government will set priorities instead of solving all problems at once. I'll not make superficial reforms. I would rather work on structural and tough social and economic change. Fakhfeh will hold a meeting with the central bank governor and the outgoing finance minister this weekend to shed light on the latest economic indicators. The situation is already alarming because Tunisia has a tax burden of more than 20% of GDP. It's considered the highest in the Arab region. The prime minister designates reform should not be at the expense of the population or businesses. This could cause social unrest. Leaders of political parties represented in parliament do not oppose the choice of the president of the republic to designate Farfer to form the next government. However, the vote of confidence will depend on the composition of his cabinet and its program to face economic woes. Prime Minister designate Yes Farfer said that he will form a small political government for the sake of efficiency and effectiveness, open to high talents and to youth and women, and which is fully aware of this critical period. Adnan Shawishi, CGTN, Tunis.